Hey, welcome. My name is Alan Simpson, and this is a quick lesson on how to show Flickr slideshows in your web pages. It's a great solution to the problem of having a lot of pictures to show and not wanting to show them all in one page or anything like that. You'll need a Flickr account, and you'll need to put your pictures out on Flickr. That's F-L-I-C-K-R dot com. And this lesson, I'm going to assume you've already done that. That part's easy and it's free. Everything here is free. Nothing is going to cost you any money here. Okay? But basically, your users can just look at the slideshow. They can come into Flickr like this. They can even follow you. They'll be following you on Flickr in that case, so they'll get news about your updates. All right? So let's say, let's, let's take a look now at how you put that kind of code in your web page. Browse out to Flickr.com and log into your account there if you haven't already done so. Then you can create an album or pick an album that contains the pictures you want to show on your web page. For example, I have a few albums here I've created in the past. And note when you touch the mouse pointer to one, you see some extra options. Point to the one you want to share and then click the little sharing arrow in the lower left corner of that one. And that'll take you to another page. Make sure you click Embed at the top of that, and then there's the code you want to copy. Where you can just right-click it and choose Copy. All right, then open or edit the page where you want to put it. Um, I'll create a new page here in this particular editor. I'll call it FlickrDemo.html. Like I said, if you already have a page, just open it up in your editor. Okay, now it has to go between the body slash body tag, so I'll just paste it right in there. Okay, and that's really it. You just have to put that in there. Oh, if you want to center it, you can stick it inside a div that has text align set to center. Okay. Now, it's a little tricky because if you, when you view it from the file system, that is like if you just say view in browser like this, it doesn't look right. It just looks like a picture and there's no arrows. And that's because it's not being served from a web server. But don't let that fool you. You can just go ahead and upload it to your website. Or if you have a built-in web server for development, you can use that web server and check it locally. Either way, when you see it published, served you know, with an HTTP or HTTPS URL, then it'll look like it does on the web. And when they point to it, the arrows show on the left and right side and they can scroll with that. They can also click the picture, and that'll take them out to your Flickr page, that album on the Flickr page, and there they can use thumbnails to scroll around and so forth. Now, on this one, I did not use that header and footer thing, but just to show you the difference, let me go ahead and go back into Flickr and uh, I'll do the code again, but this time with the header and footer. All right, so I'm going to go back to Flickr. I'll go back to the same album. I'll click Share again. And then again, make sure you click Embed at the top. And there's my code. I'm going to go ahead and select those two checkboxes. And note that you can also use this drop-down to choose a different size if you want. And then copy the code again, like before. And now I'll go paste it into my page where the original code was. It's going to basically be the same slideshow, but you can see the header and footer options are set to true, and that's what causes those to appear. And again, you can't view it in the browser directly from the file system. You have to kind of browse to it, so you might have to either publish it out to your website and then browse to it, or if you have a local server, you can browse to it with that. And up here, now you see that's the header. shows my name and a little Flickr icon. There's really not much in the footer. It's just that... Rather than being on the image, the image file name is below the slideshow. Now there I was assuming you're writing the code yourself. If you use WordPress, there's plenty of Flickr plugins you can use. Just go on into your WP admin and click the plugins thing and then add new and search for Flickr. Remember, there's no E. It's just F-L-I-C-K-R. And you'll find plenty of plugins you can try out. I've used this responsive one here before. Uh, but there are many others, and feel free to play around with them. And I'm sure there's 
the million videos on YouTube or whatever that show you how to use those. All right. Now, if you ever need free public domain photos or clip art or music tracks or videos or whatever for your website or blog or online course or whatever it is you're creating, be sure to come out to alansimpson.me slash pub. And I have tons and tons of free resources for finding great public domain stuff that you can safely use in anything you publish on the internet. All right. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye now.